key point now if you see here a fraction a fraction is of the form numerator and denominator p by q very very important point p is called the numerator and q is called the denominator p is called the numerator and q is called the denominator when will fraction result in a terminating decimal whenever denominator whenever denominator takes only power of 2 or only power of 5 or both powers of a 2 and 5 then these fraction will result in a terminating decimal a fraction will always result in a terminating decimal a fraction will always result in a terminating decimal only when the denominator takes only power of 2 or only power of 5 or powers of 2 and 5 what is the domain on a and b a and b are whole numbers a and b are whole numbers a and b are whole numbers very very important key point if the denominator is taking power of 2 or power of 5 or both power of 2 and 5 then i will get a terminating decimal a fraction will give a terminating decimal a fraction will give a recurring decimal all the cases will discuss a fraction will result in a terminating decimal a fraction will result in a terminating decimal either it takes power of 2 or it takes power of 5 or it takes both power of 2 and 5 or it takes both power of 2 and 5 let us see with an example every slide is very very important sir every slide is very important so a fraction is of the form a fraction is of the form p by q where p is the numerator and q is the denominator q is the denominator what we are discussing the case we are discussing a case where fraction is getting converted into terminating decimal a fraction is getting converted into terminating decimal what is the first case case number one q will take two power a 2 power a sir why this 2 power a and 5 power b came into picture when you convert fraction into percentage percentage means after dot keep two digits what will you multiply with 100 what are the prime basis for 100 2 and 5 what are the prime basis for 100 2 and 5 so 1 by 2 it is 0.5 1 by 2 square it is 0.25 1 by 2 power 3 1 by 8 is 0.125 so it is 2 square after dot 2 digits after dot 2 digits the decimal got over after 1 by 2 power 3 after dot 3 digits the decimal the digits got completed so 1 by 2 power n 1 by 2 power n it will complete n digits after decimal 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 terminating decimal means after that it ends after how many digits it ends it ends n digits after decimal it ends n digits after decimal case number one it is clear case number two what is that we discussed when it will give a terminating decimal when the denominator is only power of 2 or only power of 5 q equivalent to 5 power b q equivalent to 5 power b 1 by 5 it is 0.2 1 by 5 square it is 0.04 1 by 5 cube it is 0.008 that means if you observe if it is a two square after dot two digits it is getting over after dot two digits same thing it is getting over if the denominator is power of 5 that means if it is 1 by 5 power n it will n n digits after decimal same thing for 1 by 2 or 1 by 5 after decimal 1 by 5 
n digits after decimal absolutely clear clarity you will get it as we go on solving the problem when a fraction will result in a terminating decimal only power of 2 or power of 5 or both power of 2 and 5 see it is the power of 2 then this is the power of 5 then what will happen if it is a combination of 2 and 5 case number 3 only 3 combinations i will get uh, only power of 2 or only power of 5 or power of 2 and 5 case 3 case 3 q equal to 2 power 5 into 5 power b combinations of 2 power a into 5 power b q equal to 2 power a into 5 power b a can be less than b a can be equal to b a can be greater than b three cases we will discuss 1 by 1 by 2 into 5 a and b both are equal 1 by 10 1 by 10 so it is 0 0.1 0 0.1 am i right so here it is 2 power 1 here it is 5 power 1 1 by 2 into 5 here it is 1 here also it is 1 a equal to b now if it is 2 square into 5 1 by 2 in 2 square into 5 this is 1 by 20 1 by 20 that 1 by 20 in decimal is 0 0.05 0 0.05 here the power of 2 is 2 here the power of 5 is 1 what is the maximum among 1 and 2 it is 2 i got after dot 2 digits suppose let us take 1 by 2 square into 5 cube 1 by 2 square into 5 cube 1 by 125 into 4 1 by 500 1 by 500 if it is 1 by 500 see here 1 by 5 into 1 by 100 1 by 5 it is 0.2 1 by 100 it is 0 0.01 after dot 1 digit after dot 2 digits so answer will be after dot 3 digits are you all with me so after dot 3 digits i will get after dot 3 digits i hope the idea is clear or if i write like this i think it will be clear 2 by 10 into 1 by 100 2 by 1000 so 2 by 1000 will be after dot 3 digits 0 0.002 that means if you observe here 2 and 1 what is the maximum 2 after dot i got 2 digits 2 and 3 what is the maximum 3 after dot it is 3 digits very very important key point if q is 2 power a into 5 power b a fraction will result in a terminating decimal a fraction will result in a terminating decimal it is maximum of a comma b maximum of a comma b digits after decimal i hope the idea it is clear maximum of a comma b digits after decimal that means he might ask you a question by giving you 1 by 2 power 17 into 5 power 13 after dot how many digits the terminal terminating decimal will come 13 17 what is the maximum 17 what is the maximum 17 so after dot 17 digits will be there to get a terminating decimal extremely important point most of the textbooks you will not get this point absolute clarity that you will get a fraction will result in a terminating decimal only when the denominator is power of 2 or power of 5 or combinations of power of 2 and 5 or the combinations of power of 2 and 5 i hope the idea it is clear